Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 11.3 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. It is called Measure and Draw Angles and if you're in my class you should be filling out page 425 as we go along. Um, so this lesson you are going to be learning how to use a protractor which is this tool right here and this allows you, this tool allows you to determine the degrees in an angle um, from a drawing. So basically what I'm, I'm wanting for you to do in this lesson is to learn how to use the protractor correctly. Um, this definition right here tells us a protractor is a tool for measuring the size of the, an angle. And it says Emma wants to make a clay sculpture of her daughter as she appears in the photo from her dance recital. So this is her daughter. How can she measure angle DCE, so her arms, or the angle formed by her daughter's arms? So she wants to know how big to make this angle, the spread of this angle, and she needs to use a, pro a protractor in order to figure that out. So the steps for doing that are Number one, and I know this is kind of hard to see all these tiny little numbers over here, but you should be able to see them on your page. Um, number one, you have to press, you have to put the vertex C on the little dot that is on your protractor. So you've got to line those up. And then step number two, you have to put the zero degree mark on the scale of the protractor with the ray CE. So this line over here, you're going to line it up and make sure that it goes exactly to where it says zero degrees. Yeah. So it should be extended a little bit past the protractor you can, so you can see that it's running through where it says zero degrees. So if you keep that dot on the line, on the vertex, and you keep that line at zero degrees, then this one is opening like this, and you'll follow that over. You've got all these numbers on the protractor, and where it ends right here on the line DC, you'll look at the number that's right there, and that's how many degrees you should have. So when it opens this way, when you're lining up this bottom line at zero and you've got another line over here, it's opening this way, you're gonna look at the numbers that are on the inside of the protractor. So you can see there's some numbers going along the top and then they're going the opposite way along the bottom. So if it's opening this way, you wanna look at the numbers that are on the inside. And on this one, it's pointing to the number 120 degrees. So the angle that's formed by Emma's daughter's, daughter's arms is 120 degrees. Now, if you had an angle that was like this, you would line the vertex up in that little hole right here, but your line would be that you would put at zero is going this way. So it's opening the opposite way. It's opening like this. So instead of looking at the numbers that are on the inside, when it opens this way, you're going to have to look at the numbers on the top. So you're going to need to make sure that you're looking at the correct numbers. So that is how you use a protractor to find the measure of the degrees in an angle. If you have any questions, leave me a message. And if you're in my class, don't worry. We will be um, practicing this in class with protractors. And you will be able to have some more practice besides just this video. Um, the main thing to remember is which numbers to look at, the top or the bottom. And that's dependent on which way the angle is opening. So that is going to be our job for the rest of a le this lesson. Now the other part of this is this one started out where we already had an angle drawn for us so we just put the protractor on top of it and figured out what what the degrees was. Now the second step to this would be they'd give you a degree and you'd use a protractor to draw that. 
So you'd make a vertex and you'd make a line straight out using the edge of the protractor because it's like a ruler. And then say they said 90 degrees. You'd line up the vertex on the protractor and you'd line up this line on the zero degrees and you'd follow the numbers on the inside until it said 90 degrees. And then you'd, you'd stop, you'd draw a little dot there and you'd make that line straight with the edge of the protractor so that you would have drawn a 90 degree angle. So you may have an angle already drawn for you and they may ask you for the degrees or they may give you the degrees and ask you to draw the angle. So draw a vertex, draw a line, line this up in the little circle that's on the protractor, line this up at zero degrees and follow it until your second line ends. And then just look at the number. So those are the steps. Like I said, we'll practice in class. If you have any questions in the meantime, leave me a message. Thanks.